I have now made uh, uh, the necessary alterations to fit a hobbing uh, spindle to the original rivet milling attachment. I've made reasonably few alterations. The entire assembly of the stepper motor, the belt drive and the wheel can be taken off and uh, only held in place by two screws at the back here so it doesn't affect anything else and can go back to how it was originally. Um, I'll just move around so you can get a clear idea of what I've done. I've got a 15 tooth wheel here and a 60 tooth wheel here uh, which gives me 4 to 1 ratio between the stepper motor and the spindle and on the end of the lathe on the spindle of the lathe uh, I've got a direct mounted um, 200 counts per revolution um, of a um, encoder uh, which is mounted just to a, a bar and the two fittings that I had on the or two holes that I had on the top which previously held uh, my indexing attachment so I can easily take this off. This is just a plug held on with one screw on the other side um, and uh, that uh, controls and sends signals rather to the um, electronics which are in this box. And this is the uh, electronics, which is an Arduino processor. Um, and Andy on his website has shown how all this is is programmed and uh, where to get materials from and so on. Uh, this has a, a set menu, which allows you to change things. That's counts for the encoder. A stepper um, turns per, for the spindle rev revolution, and there's an acceleration for the um, start up to make sure that it doesn't go out of sync, and you can reverse the rotation if you want to. Um, and then when you start up the spindle, that shows the RPM in there. Um, and you can change the numbers of teeth you want to cut. And I've been cutting 15. Sorry if this is a bit shaky, but this is very difficult to film up here. And then I'm using a commercial hob. This is a commercial hob that I've uh, bought some time ago um, and this is doing 14 dp at four and a, 14 and a half pressure angle, that's what it's cutting and that's the same as are on um, the Drummond lathe gear wheels, that's what I, I bought this for originally and in the end I bought separate cutters and did them one at a time I'm just cutting a piece of Delrin at the moment as an example. And this is going back to my to the um, stepper motor. So it's quite a simple setup, and not too much in the way of uh, of making things to get it to work. Uh, but you do have to have something fairly substantial to be able to take uh, the uh, pressure 
because there's a bit of a, quite a bit of stick out and overhang here. I'm now ready to cut um, the 15 tooth gear in Black Delrin. Yep, that's that's good, that's perfect. <laughs> 